Hey guys, so I'm still in Varna in the northeast of Bulgaria and I'm going to do you a guided tour today and let you know about the cons here and the things you need to watch out for when you're here in Varna and the negatives of here in Varna. So as you can see, I'm just on a street just off the main boulevard and there's lots of graffiti around the street here. I'll just walk you one down this road now and um, it's a typical side street. Um, just off uh, the Yanis, um, the Yanis Boris uh, Boulevard here in the city. So Yanis Boris is a very, very beautiful street, and it heads on to another another street that heads straight down to the promenade. Uh, this is downtown city centre of Varna. Um, as you can see, there's all of this graffiti. Some of you might find that a little bit intimidating or off-putting when you go to a city, but um, what you find in Varna is the city centre is really, really lovely. Um, downtown in Sevastopol area. When you book your hotel, you need to be very, very careful what area you book your hotel in because there's some really rough neighborhoods of this city. They're gypsy neighborhoods um, and the gypsies can be really rough and they pickpocket you, they try to pickpocket you. Some of them have actually followed me around and approached me in the street asking for money. Um, but I've seen some situations as well where you need to be very, very careful uh, with the gypsies here in, in Varna. Um, I recommend that you don't stay in the in the gypsy neighborhoods and that type of area. For example, I saw a hotel called Hotel Bristol for a very good price, just over 30 pounds a night, but that's in the gypsy neighborhood. And then if you stay downtown in the city center of Varna, um, you find that prices are kind of expensive for the hotels. I think the hotels are overpriced, to be honest with you. Um, the majority of hotels in the city center bang in the center by Sevastopol. Um, some of them were, well, the very minimum you were getting was 60 pounds a night. Uh, some of them were more than 100 pounds a night. I was looking online. Um, to get the cheapest hotels, go on a website called Kayak, and that compares all the prices of all the hotels. So it compares all the different hotel websites and gets you the best deal. Or go on a website called Hotels Combined, that does the same. That compares lots of the different uh, travel websites as well to get you the best hotel deal. And um, also check a website called Trivago. That, that's also a comparison site as well. So there's much more positives here than negatives really in Varna in this city. Uh, I really, really like it. This is the type of city I could live in. Um, I think in general, um, the majority of people are really, really nice in this city. Um, you know, you've got um, everything you'd expect out of a big city here. Um, one thing I noticed though is um, that the, there's restaurants here from a number of different countries, like there's Turkish restaurants, Bulgarian, um, Georgian, for example, but I couldn't find an Indian restaurant. And Indian, Indian food is my favorite food. And I've been unable to find an Indian restaurant so far in the city. I've walked around all the major streets in the city. I like Indian food and Nepalese food. Um, I found some really delicious Bulgarian food here and the seafood was very good and the fish was very good. So there's no problem to eat good food here, but I'd like a bit more variety. Um, you can find plenty of sushi restaurants around town here. So if you like Japanese food, you'll be okay. But I couldn't find a restaurant for Chinese food, a, a native proper Chinese restaurant. Um, so the signs are here, like in the street, like you see straight ahead, and um, they'll tell you where to go. The art gallery is on the left, the cathedral, um, the beautiful uh, gold onion domed cathedral. Um, that's just there uh, on the right side, just further up this street when you turn around the corner. But when you go further down this street um, towards the um, towards the cathedral, there's a neighborhood behind the cathedral where you go up. And um, I went into that neighborhood because it was the only place where I could wash my clothes. I walked all over the city. I found one laundrette, walked into the laundrette. It was called Green Zone. They asked me for six leather per item to wash my clothes. So that's three, that's three pounds for each item. So I went up to the market area where you, where you buy all the copies and um, it's a fruit market, but they also sell clothes. And I found a laundrette near to that market and, and, and he asked me for 22 leather um, to wash a small amount of clothing. Um, I negotiated in that shop because you can negotiate for everything here and I ended up paying 12 leather. So it was half the price. So make sure you do negotiate. And when I was waiting, I had to wait one and a half hours for my washing to be done um, in that location. And then I went into the market and I wanted to buy some t-shirts. And I went in and I saw a t-shirt in a shop and um, the, the lady had a stall at the market and she asked me for 75 leather. 
um, which is uh, about £35 um, for a, a sleeveless t-shirt with Hugo Boss on it. And she was totally trying to overcharge me, take me for a ride. It would have been an absolute rip-off because the same t-shirts are 10 leather in Sunny Beach or 15 leather in Golden Sands. And um, you want to make sure that you negotiate if you go to, um, if you go to the market stores there. Um, I did buy another t-shirt from another shop and it was, um, it was, she asked me for 35 leather and I paid 25 leather, which is about 12 pounds. So, so that was okay, but still, um, Sunny Beach is a lot cheaper than here in Varna. Um, I found the ch prices of alcohol cheaper in Sunny Beach. Hotels are much, much cheaper in Sunny Beach and Nessa Bar and Sveti Vlas than it is in this area of, um, this area of Bulgaria. The reason why this is, this is a lovely city, it's a big city, and obviously you pay uh, big city prices for hotels here. Um, there's a hostel, for example, just above the Musala Hostel. Um, that's 70 level, which is 35 pounds a night for a hostel room. So I think accommodation here is a little bit overpriced in, in all honesty. Um, it is the peak season in July and August time. Um, but I think that, you know, like in terms of accommodation in other cities in Bulgaria, it would be much, much cheaper and some other cities in Eastern Europe as well. Um, another thing to watch out for is the, um, the, the gypsy beggars that come over to you in the street. Um, they're coming over to you in the street and pressuring you to give them money. Um, some of them are just coming over very, very direct. They won't leave you alone. I've had this every single day. Um, there's also people that have come over to me in the street. Uh, one man just approached me in the street, said, do you need to change money? It was a very strange situation. Um, don't trust these people. You don't know them. Anything might happen if you pull your money out or walk with them down a, down a side street or something. It was a very strange situation. Um, I had some people come over to me in the street here and they asked me um, with, with a board just asking me to give money to various charities. Um, it's happened to me a couple of times now. Um, I wouldn't give unless you, you know, check their paperwork, check their legitimate. And if they are legit, you could give something, but try to check them out and just check out that this is real. They're not just some person asking for money because there's many, many scams that go on here as well. Um, in terms of bars and restaurants, um, the prices are very competitive here. I think the prices are very reasonable. You do need to check the menu before you order and order off the menu. Um, one thing that happened to me in Sunny Beach in Bulgaria was I went to one bar and I ordered a drink. And after ordering the drink, he charged me a different price than was on the menu. And I asked him why the price was different. And he said, this was last year's menu. But why are they displaying last year's menu? I mean, for me, it's a total con. I picked the drink I wanted off the menu, but then I had to pay a, la a higher price because he said it was last year's menu and he hadn't changed the menu. So this would be against the law with the Trade Descriptions Act. You can't advertise stuff for one price and sell it for another price. Um, at least in England, you can't do that. And for sure, one thing you need to do when you're here as well, um, I went to lots of bars in Golden Sands and in three of the bars, I was overcharged. Um, I went back to the bars each time they charged me a different price. Uh, for example, in one bar, he charged me 10 leather for a small beer when the price was actually six leather. Uh, I went to another bar and they were charging me eight leather for a beer when the actual price was five leather. So hold the menu in front of you, point at the price of what you want to buy and buy something off the menu. Don't make the mistake of going into a bar here and just ordering, um, I want a Jack Daniels and Coke or something like that because they can charge you whatever they want because you've not looked at the menu and you might get a surprise when you get the bill. Uh, the other problem I've had as well um, out in town is um, on a Friday and Saturday night when you're walking on the promenade where you've got all the bars and clubs. Uh, last night it was a little bit rough and uh, there was a few people that were just bumping into me in the street. Uh, basically quite aggressive um, behavior on the promenade last night. Um, the majority of people here are really, really nice. It was isolated, um, but there's a, a few rough guys that hang around in groups in the street and you don't want to get in any, any problems with them at all. Um, I, I asked one of the men in uh, Golden Sands, he owns a stall there, and he said to me, fighting does happen here from time to time. Um, he said it's, you know, people do like a fight when they go out sometimes. So he said, be careful with regards to uh, 
with regards to physical violence as well. Um, but in general, Varna is very, very safe um, compared to most other cities. There's not many problems here at all. Um, there's some problems with pickpocketing on buses, I heard, and uh, petty crime like that. So when you're on the bus, you must watch out, watch your pockets very carefully. Um, you know, make sure that your, your, val your valuables are locked away somewhere safe and um, be careful as well. And these are just tips to help you when you're traveling around Bulgaria and when you come to Varna as well. Uh, I do recommend you a holiday here and these just are tips to help you out as well and um, to make sure that you have a good holiday. So guys, um, thank you very much for watching my guided tour today. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Travel with Col, and that's Col with a C-O-L. Hey, <laughs> and also please give me some likes on my tours as well, that will help. And if you can give some comments and information as well to help our tourists that are subscribers on the channel as well. Um, you'll also see my tours from Sveti Vlas, from Sunny Beach, from Nesibar, from many other cities in Bulgaria, as well on my channel. Thank you very much, guys. Cheers. Bye-bye.